Now to a Target 12 investigators exclusive, plate privileges. Your tax records show you haven't been paying motor vehicle taxes for some time. Are you using dealer plates to abuse no. the system? No, not at all. We're raising questions about how one dealership owner is using dealer plates. Anyone driving a car with this orange plate on it doesn't have to pay pricey motor vehicle taxes. And our findings have already prompted an investigation by the DMV officials. Let's get right to Target 12 investigator Tim White with his exclusive findings. Look, nobody likes to pay car taxes, but if you have one of those orange dealer plates that you see everywhere, you don't have to. And we've discovered there are more than 3,200 of these in the state. For months, Target 12 kept watch on this dealer plate. But the Mercedes it's attached to is not sitting in the lot of a dealership waiting to be sold. It's here, outside Johnston Municipal Court. The driver is Karen Russo, who is a municipal court clerk. When Target 12 first started our research in late 2015, she was driving a Lexus. Her husband, Charles Russo, owns and operates an auto dealership over the line in Cranston. Town of Johnston tax records obtained by Target 12 show neither husband nor wife have paid a full year of motor vehicle taxes for a passenger car since 2013. <laughs> to use a dealer plate, state law is very specific. You have to be a bona fide employee of the dealership. Excuse me, Mr. Russo. Tim White from Channel 12. How are we you? met up with Charles Russo outside his Cranston business. I want to talk to you about the use of your dealer plates. Um, your wife has been driving around in a car with dealer plates for quite some time. Are you doing that to avoid paying motor vehicle taxes? Not really. She's a partner in the company. She's not listed in state documents as being an employee of the company. Well, she's still a part owner. In our research, we also uncovered this Providence Police report. It shows Charles Russo was driving a car with one of his dealer plates on it, and it was parked in a handicap spot. The officer discovered that Mr. Russo was using a handicap placard from someone who had died more than two years ago. Target 12 was at the Rhode Island Traffic Tribunal in March when, through an attorney, Russo pleaded guilty and paid a fine. You received a ticket for a... Uh, using a handicap placard that belonged to someone had, that had passed away? What, what was that all about? I don't know. Where did you get the information from? Are you saying that didn't happen? I'm, just, I'm asking you where you got your information from. I got it from a Providence police report and from the traffic tribunal court records. Do you have a copy of it? Okay, we can play that game, but we both know that that well, actually you can happened. Contact so contact my attorney. Who is your attorney? You can contact him. I need to know his name in order oh, to contact Michael Lombardi. Him. I'm sorry. Michael Lombardi. That attorney has not returned our calls. We again wanted to know more about his wife using a dealer plate. She's a 50% owner. Yes. And do you have documentation? Maybe you do better research. Can you, can you show me? Can you show me documentation? It's private property. On in fact, we did do the research both before that interview and for good measure after. And each time records here at the DMV showed exactly the same thing. What do your records show? Uh, our records do not show that she's a, in any way affiliated with the business. State Police Lieutenant David Doucette is the chief of the enforcement section of the Department of Motor Vehicles. Well, a dealer is exempt from having to register and title a vehicle so th they need to move them from place to place. Target 12 also checked corporate filings with the Secretary of State's office. Russo's wife was not listed there either. Through another attorney, Russo sent Target 12 this document. He says it shows Charles and Karen Russo bought the dealership from a Stephen Lombardo in 2010. Russo's lawyer says the document isn't filed anywhere official. They keep it in the office of the dealership. But just this December, Russo signed this dealership application renewal with the DMV. Nowhere on it does it list his wife, and he continues to use the name Stephen Lombardo as a partner. Well, if there is a change in the corporate structure, if it is a corporation or an LLC or what have you, they, they have an obligation to notify the, the office. The regulation says within 10 days. 
Russo's attorney tells me they are going to rectify what he calls an oversight with the state. Now, Lieutenant Doucette says our findings have already prompted them to take a look at both the dealer plate issue as well as the use of that handicap placard. New at 6 o'clock, we have some surprising numbers on how often people are getting into trouble for the misuse of handicap placards. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News. The Target 12 investigators are always looking to uncover news. If you want to send a tip or report government waste, you can call our tip line at 228-1763 or email us at target12 at WPRI.com. New details now in a Target 12 investigators exclusive plate privileges. As part of our investigation into the questionable use of dealer license plates, we also uncovered a car dealer who was caught by police using a handicap placard for someone who had died years ago. And we wanted to know how often are public safety officials cracking down on handicap placard abuse. And we found the numbers are on a dramatic decline. Target 12 investigator Tim White joins us now with what he's uncovered. Court records we've reviewed show the number of handicap placard violations are down by nearly 50% in the last four years. In December, a Providence patrolman spotted a car with dealer plates parked in a handicap spot. The car had a blue handicap placard in the windshield, but when the officer ran the number, it came back to a man who died in 2013. What was that all about? I don't know. Where did you get the information from? The car was being driven by Cranston auto dealer Charles Russo. I got it from a Providence police report and from the traffic tribunal court records. Do you have a copy of it? Okay, we can play that game, but we both know that that actually happened. So my attorney. His attorney did not return our calls. In March, Russo pleaded guilty to two counts, including handicap placard misuse. It was one of almost 900 handicap parking violation cases from 2015. According to records from traffic in municipal courts, it's a trend that is on the decline. In 2012, there were 1,520 handicap parking violations, 1,683 in 2013, 1,207 in 2014, down to 846 in 2015. Target 12 unearthed Russo's placard violation while examining why his wife, a Johnston Town employee, was using a dealer plate on a car she drives for months. People driving cars with a dealer plate do not pay car taxes. Russo claims his wife is part owner of the dealership. By law, dealership employees are allowed to use dealer plates. What do your records show? Uh, our records do not show that she's a, in any way affiliated with the business. State Police Lieutenant David Doucette is the chief of the Enforcement Division of the Department of Motor Vehicles. He says our findings have prompted an investigation into the use of dealer plates assigned to Russo's dealership. A dealership can allow an employee, a bona fide employee, to use the dealer plate for, for personal uh, reasons as well. Doucette says they do get tips alleging misuse of dealer plates, but Rhode Island's law is fairly liberal about how those orange plates can be used by a dealer employee. We'll get complaints, calls and letters saying, you know, this dealer is misusing plates. They have, uh, it's on a bunch of different cars or they have a lot of different people using it and that might not be illegitimate. Another lawyer for the dealership tells Target 12 they are planning on filing paperwork with the state that will now list Russo's wife as an employee. Back to the handicap placards. It's unclear why there's been such a dramatic decline in the number of violations. The courts tell us it's likely because police officers are simply writing fewer tickets. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News. The Target 12 investigators are always looking to uncover news. If you want to send a tip or report government waste, call our tip line 228-1763 or email us at target12 at WPRI.com.